Assalam alaikum dear students it's me Bilal Malik once again with a video lecture related to class <coughs> science in the first unit of physics portion that is light and my topic today is, is lens dear students what is the lens first of all you should know or you should know the definition of the lens lens is a piece of a refracting surface one's the piece of refracting surface having one or both sides having one or both sides covered that means lens jyotayana is a refracting medium which allows the light rays to pass through them but when is the light rays pass through these lens they underwent deviation, they undergo bending, that is they show the phenomena of the refraction of light. But that piece of refracting surface having essentially one or both sides curved. Or, dear students, we can define lens likely as it's a piece of, of a transparent, it's a piece of a transparent glass having one or both sides or surfaces covered. That means lens ko beta mai se define karenge. It is a glass. It is a transparent glass which allows the light rays to pass through them. But they should possess one or the both sides or both surfaces covered. Now, the types of lens On the basis of the construction lens, there are of two types. First one here we have convex and second type of lens, these are concave, convex and concave lens. Dear students, concave, convex lens is that lens in which the curved surfaces are linked with each other in such a way that in the middle they are thicker but at the edges they are thinner but at the edges they are thinner such a type of the refracting medium such a type of the transparent glass it is known as convex lens if the two curved surfaces of a glass they are linked with each other in such a way that in the center they are thinner but at the edges they are thicker but at the edges they are thicker that is inverse of the convex lens these are concave lens both convex lens and concave lens they are again of three types each uh, plano convex Plano convex it is a third type of convex lens whose one surface is plan and the other surface is convex. Second type of the convex lens that is double convex. It is that type of convex lens whose both surfaces are covered. Third type of convex lens is plano, sorry. Third type of convex lens is concave or convex. Concave convex, it is that type of lens whose one surface is convex and the other surface is concave. Likely, Concave lens, they are again of three types. First one, here is plano concave. Plano concave, it is that type of concave lens whose one surface is plan and the other surface is concave. Second one is 
double concave it is that type of a lens whose both surfaces are covered but their construction is likely in the center they are thinner and at the edges they are thicker third type here is convex so concave It is that type of concave lens whose one side is concave and the other side is convex. So dear students, it was the definition related to lens. Lens is a refracting medium having one or both surfaces covered. A lens is a transparent glass in which one or both surfaces are covered. Lens, there are two types convex lens and concave lens. On the basis of construction, they are simply defined as once a lens is thicker in the center, middle, but thinner at the edges, it is convex. If it is thinner in the middle and thicker at the edge, then it is concave. Both concave and convex lens, they are again of three types each, plano convex, double convex, concave convex, Likely for concave, we have plano concave, double concave, convexo concave. Before going through the topics related to the lens, we have to discuss here some important terms related to lens. Some important terms related to lens. Likely we have discussed here some important terms related to mirrors, but we have discussed it. Center of curvature, radius of curvature, principal axis, focal length. Likely here in lens, we are also to discuss some basic terms. First basic term in case of lens, discuss that is center of curvature. Center of curvature. Dear students, you know that lens it is a part of a refracting medium having one or both surfaces curved or spherical. Center of curvature, suppose this is the curved surface whose center of curvature is this. This is the curved surface and the whose center of curvature is this. That means center of curvature come, I say define curling, it's the center. <laughs> it's the center of an imaginary. Sifia, the center of an imaginary sifia of which lens forms a part. Ha center of curvature, us sphere ka center uta hai, jis sphere ka jo lens hai, ye part ek form karti hai. Likely here you have concave, this is one curved portion, this is the under curved portion, the center of this curved portion, and the center of this curved portion, yani sifia. Is called now the center of curvature. So, what is the center of curvature? In simple words, we define center of curvature as the center point or center of an imaginary sphere or center of a sphere of which length forms a part. The second definition which we have to discuss here, the second definition uh, term which we have to discuss here. That is radius of curvature. Now, before discussing the radius of curvature, you must have to go on through the optical center. Dear students, first of all, the optical center of a lens it is denoted by the letter O. Suppose we will Right here, two lines. This is the convex, thicker in the middle, thinner at the edges, and 
this is a concave thinner in the middle but thicker at the ends so optical center is the that point of a lens that point of a lens located in the center of a lens where when the light rays fall directly on this optical center they pass through it without any deviation or they pass without undergoing refraction without undergoing refraction so what is optical center simply optical center ko hum beta define aise kar sakte hain it is the point it is the central point of his of a lens when our the light ray follows directly on the optical center it passes through the lens without undergoing any sort of bending without undergoing refraction that means it does not bend it passes in a straight way <coughs> third basic term jo yahan pe humne discuss karni hai that is radius of curvature or radius of curvature dear students how can we define radius of curvature suppose this is a convex lens and this is a concave lens this is the center of this curved portion this is the center of this curved portion and here in the center of the lens there is optical center denoted by letter o this is the center of this curved part this is center of this curved part what we call it as center of curvature and this point here in this concave lens is the point where the light ray passes without deviation that is optical center what so is the distance from this optical center to the center of curvature what so is the distance from this optical center to the center of curvature it is known as the radius of curvature jisko beta hum denote karte hain by the letter r se take after discussing radius of curvature the next term jo yahan pe humne clear karna hai that is part t that is principal axis तो प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस को बेटा हम कैसे डिफाइन करेंगे अगेन हम यहां पे दो लेंस बनाएंगे दिस कम एक्स दिस इज कंकेव हियर दिस इज ऑप्टिकल सेंटर ओ हियर दिस इज ऑप्टिकल सेंटर ओ हियर दिस इज सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर हियर दिस इज सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर दिस इज द सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर ऑफ दिस कर्वड पोर्शन दिस इज द सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर ऑफ दिस पोर्शन the imaginary line passing through the lens through center of curvature and the optical center the imaginary line passing through the lens through center of curvature and optical center this imaginary line is known as principal axis this is known as what principal axis so dear students yahan tak aapne char terms padhe hain सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर ऑप्टिकल सेंटर रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर एंड प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग द फोर्थ टर्म द नेक्स्ट टर्म जो यहां पे हमने क्लियर करना है दैट इज फोक्स आर principal fox fox or principal fox isko beta hum denote karte hain by the letter f unlike for the mirrors where you are where you are having only the one fox of a particular mirror but in case of the lens the fox it is of two types fox it is of two types and these two types of fox they are known as focuses Are simply the plural of fox that is foca. First type of fox 
जिसको हम डिनोट करते हैं एफ वन से सो वट इज एफ वन एफ वन इज द पॉइंट ऑन प्रिंसिपल एक्सीज एफ वन इज द पॉइंट ऑन प्रिंसिपल एक्सीज ऑफ अ लेंस ऑफ ए लेंस वेदर इट मे बी कन्वेक्स और इट मे बी कंकेव एट दिस पर्टिक्यूलर पॉइंट द रेज ऑफ लाइट द रेज ऑफ लाइट द रेज ऑफ लाइट कमिंग फ्रॉम और स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम और directed to which directed to which become parallel to principal axis so beta diagrammatically main aapko f1 clear karunga first of all aapne yaad rakhna hai ye wo point hota hai principal axis pe kisi bhi lens ka chahe kanki ho ya convex ho the rays of light चाहे उस पॉइंट से आ रही हैं या उस पॉइंट की ओर जा रही हैं आफ्टर रिफ्रेक्शन आफ्टर रिफ्रेक्शन उस पॉइंट की ओर जा रहे हैं दैट बिकम पर्लर टू प्रिंसिपल एक्सीज दैट बिकम पर्लर टू प्रिंसिपल एक्सीज सपोज करें हियर वी हैव दिस कन्वेक्स लेंस हियर इन द सेंटर वी हैव ऑप्टिकल सेंटर ओ here this center of curvature and this point here it is fox suppose kare from the fox light rays fall hoti hai convex lens pe coming from this point jisko hum fox f1 kehte hain to inki refraction ho jayegi जब इनकी रिफ्रेक्शन हो जाएगी जो ये रिफ्रेक्टर रेज ऑफ लाइट यहां से निकलेंगे पास हो जाएंगे लाइट रेज आफ्टर पेंडिंग दे बिकम पार्लर टू प्रिंसिपल एक्सीज सो दिस पॉइंट बाय द रेज ऑफ लाइट वायर कमिंग इंसिडेंट रेज ऑफ लाइट वायर कमिंग फॉलिंग ऑन द कन्वेक्स लेंस पास थ्रू द कन्वेक्स लेंस बट अंडर वेंट रिफ्लेक्शन आफ्टर रिफ्लेक्शन दीज रेज ऑफ लाइट बिकम पार्लर टू प्रिंसिपल एक्सीज और F1 को हम ऐसे भी बेटा डिफाइन कर सकते हैं हाँ और रेज डायरेक्टेड टू विच यहां अगर इस F1 की ओर ये रेज जा रहे हैं इस डायरेक्शन में जा रहे हैं तो जब इनकी रिफ्रेक्शन होती है तो रिफ्रेक्टिव रेज जो है वो पार्लर टू प्रिंसिपल एक्सीज बनते हैं सपोज दिस इज कंकेव लेंस दिस द सेंटर कॉल द ओप्टिकल सेंटर suppose this is f1 if the rays of light coming from any source incident rays of light coming from any source falls on the concave mirror in the direction of the f1 but on passing through the concave lens these rays of the light they underwent refraction they will undergo deviation and after refraction these rays of light they become parallel to principal axis they become parallel to principal axis so these are refracted rays of light this point this fox it is known as first fox f1 so first fox f1 it's a point on principal axis of a lens that means convex or concave the rays of light starting from तो कन्वेक्स में हम स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं रेज ऑफ लाइट जब इनकी रिफ्रेक्शन हो गई तो पार्लर बन गई और डायरेक्टेड टू बीच यानी कि कंकेव में हम क्या कर रहे हैं रेज ऑफ लाइट इस डायरेक्शन की ओर हम छोड़ते हैं इंसिडेंट रेज ऑफ लाइट की जो डायरेक्शन है टूवर्ड्स एफ वन है पर जब इनकी रिफ्रेक्शन होती है द रिफ्रेक्टेड रेज ऑफ लाइट बिकम पार्लर टू प्रिंसिपल एक्सीज द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ द फोक्स विच आई वुड लाइक टू क्लियर यू हिया विच आई वुड लाइक टू क्लियर यू here that is f2 which i 
which I would like to clear you here, that is F2. Huh, it's the point on principal axis of a lens. It's the point on the principal axis of a lens, whether it may be concave or convex. Why it may be concave or convex? Why the rays of light after refraction? Why the rays of light after a refraction? After a refraction? Converge. Converge or diverge. Converge or diverge. But what type of the rays of light? Those rays of light which fall on the lens, concave or convex, parallel to principal axis. Second focus on the lens, it is defined as that point on principal axis of concave lens or convex lens. When the parallel beam of the incident light rays are allowed to fall on these lens, after refraction, the refracted rays of light converge or diverge from that very much point. Guys, I will clear this diagrammatically. Suppose here we will take an example of convex lens. The straight horizontal line passing through the optical center of lens, imaginary line, what we call it as principal axis. Now, parallel beam of incident light rays is allowed to fall on this convex lens. Is allowed to fall on this convex lens. So, this is the parallel beam of incident light rays parallel to principal axis. Dear students, whenever these rays of light, they will pass through the convex lens. Obviously, they will underwent deviation. They will underwent refraction. But these refracted rays of light, they will meet at a point on the principal axis. After refraction, these refracted rays of light, they will meet at a point on principal axis. The point where they will meet after refraction, this is F2. That is focus second. Or, this F2 is also defined as, let me take here an example of another type of the lens, that is concave lens. An imaginary line passing through the center of the lens, optical center, what we call it as, principal axis. This lens is now concave lens. When parallel beam of light rays is allowed to fall on this lens, parallel to what? Parallel to principal axis. So likely, when the light rays coming from any object through the ear, passes through the glass, passes through the lens, having different speed, it will suffer bending, it will suffer deviation. So here will be better refraction ho jayengi. But refraction aise ho jayegi. Yahan pe jo refracted rays convex lens mein aapne dekha tha. After refraction, the refracted rays they were converging at a point on principal axis. But in case of concave lens, these refracted rays they are not converging at the same point, a single point on principal axis but they are diverging from each other. Ha! They get diverged in such a way that these refracted rays of light, they seem to be coming from one point on principal axis. The point on principal axis where these refracted rays of light seem to be coming, it is F2. Folks, second. Folks, second. So, this was the term which we lenses for lenses. Folks, two types of folks in the lens. Mein. F1 and F2. So, how many terms we have cleared here? First term we cleared here, the center of curvature, then optical center, then radius of curvature, then principal axis, then focus. Now, sixth term, which we are discuss here, that is focal length. Like in case of lens, principal folks, they were of two types, F1 and F2. Likely, focal length, in case of lens, 
It is also of two types, F1 and F2. कैसे मैं यहां पे आपको क्लियर करूंगा तो दो एग्जांपल्स हम यहां पे ले लेंगे कंकेव एंड कन्वेक्स की तो दिस इज कन्वेक्स लेंस दिस इज द इमेजिनरी लाइन पासिंग थ्रू द ऑप्टिकल सेंटर वेयर द रेज ऑफ लाइट व्हेन फॉल दे वेंट दे पास थ्रू द लेंस विदाउट एनी डिविशन विदाउट एनी डिविशन लेट दिस बी हियर f1 एंड नेक्स्ट पॉइंट टू दिस दैट विल बी f2 the distance from the foc uh, optical center to focus first it is known as focal length first the distance from the optical center to focal point second it is f2 likely we have here two focus focuses f1 and f2 likely we have two focal lengths in case of the lenses f1 and f2 f1 is that critical distance from the optical center to focus first and f2 is the critical distance from the optical center of a lens to focal point second just like convex here we have concave imaginary line that passes through the center optical center called principal axis here we have f1 and then we have f2 what so is the distance from this optical center to this point f1 that is focal length first and the critical distance from optical center to focal point second that is f2 that is f2 after discussing the focal length the next term jo yahan pe humne clear karna hai that is aperture so what is aperture aperture is simply defined as aperture is simply defined as the diameter diameter of a curved diameter of a curved part of a lens diameter of a curved part of a lens that is called aperture and likely in case of mirrors aperture ko hum denote karte the mm dash se to yahan pe bhi hum aperture ko denote karenge mm dash se suppose this is here convex lens and this is the diameter of this curved part from this point to this point and this diameter of a curved part of lens it is called as aperture likely here this is concave what so where is the diameter of this curved part size of this curved part of a lens this is called as aperture denoted by m m dash denoted by m m dash so this was the term aperture after completing aperture the last term in case of the lens jo yahan pe hum discuss karne ja rahe hain that is focal plane dear students focal plane ko hum aise clear karenge this is convex lens this is this aperture this is the imaginary line passing through the optical center called principal axis this is a focal plane f1 the line the imaginary line or the plane that passes through the focus perpendicular to principal axis that passes through the focus perpendicular to principal axis this line it is known as focal plan like in case of concave lens the optical center this is focus f1 the line or the plan that passes through the focus vertical line parallel to principal axis perpendicular to principal axis this line it is known as focal 
prime. So with that, we have completed these terms. Now we will focus these terms with the help of diagrams so that after a revision bhi ho jayega in terms ka. So yahan pe hum dono types of lenses banayenge. Convex lens bhi or concave lens bhi. This is the refracting medium. Having both surfaces covered, but in such a way, center me beta ye motta hai, or edges pe ye thin hai. To isko hum naam dete hain convex lens. To ye iska aperture hai mm dash x horizontal image ne ke lai hum yahan se pass karenge. Isko hum naam dete hain principal axis that passes through the optical center. Here we have F1, here we have F2, likely from this side, again we have here F1 dash and we have, we have F2 dash. Ha, optical center, it is that point in the center of the lens, where when the incident ray of light falls directly on the center, it passes through the lens without any deviation or without any reflection. That means it passes in a straight way. It passes in a straight way. What so is the distance from this optical center to this focus? First, it is focal length first. Distance from here to this point, it is focal length second. <laughs> When parallel beam of incident light rays is allowed to fall on this concave lens, after refraction, these rays of light, they will converge, they will meet at one point on principal axis and that point is known as Fox. That point is known as Fox second. Clear? Second type of lens hum yahan pe banayenge. That is concave. This is just aperture mm dash. Straight horizontal line ko center mein hum pass karenge through the optical center. O. This is here F1. This is here F2, likely here it is F1 dash and here it is F2 dash. This, and the light ray which fall directly on the optical center, it passes through the lens, concave lens or convex lens without any deviation. Now, from this point to this point, here it is focal length first. From this point to this point, here it is focal length second. When parallel beam of light rays, parallel to principal axis, these are the incident light rays are allowed to fall on the concave lines. They will un go undergo reflection. But ref their reflection takes place in such a way they will not meet at one point on the principal axis, but they will get diverged from each other in a way that they seem to be coming from one point on principal axis. The point where these refractory rays of light seem to be coming, that is F2. That is F2. So, here we have in terms of the terms of the और आपको डायग्रामेटिकली भी दिखाया तो क्वेश्चन यहां पे बनता है जो कन्वेक्स लेंस है जो कन्वेक्स लेंस है इसको हम नाम देते हैं कन्वर्जिंग लेंस भी तो बेटा इसका आंसर तो सिंपल है व्हाई कन्वेक्स लेंस इज आल्सो नेम्ड एज कन्वर्जिंग लेंस बिकॉज़ व्हेन पैरेलल बीम ऑफ इंसिडेंट लाइट रेज आर अलाउड टू फॉल ऑन कन्वेक्स लेंस after reflection, all these refracted rays of light, they meet at a point on the principal axis called the Fox.
call the Fox. That is why these refracted rays of light they converge at single point on principal axis at Fox. That is why convex lens is also named as converging lens. Likely, when polar beam of incident light rays they are allowed to fall on the concave lens after refraction, the refracted rays of light you see here. They will not meet at one point on principal axis, but instead they get diverged from each other. They get diverged from each other. That is why जो ये concave lens है, इस concave lens को हम नाम देते हैं diverging lens. तो यहाँ पे थोड़ा reverse हो रहा है बेटा. In case of mirrors, we are having two types of spherical mirrors. कंकेव मिरर एंड कन्वेक्स मिरर तो वहां पे हमने देखा था कंकेव मिरर जो होता है इट इज कन्वर्जिंग मिरर और कन्वेक्स मिरर जो होता है इट इज डाइवर्जिंग मिरर बट इन केस ऑफ द लेंस द फिनोमेना इज अपोजिट कन्वेक्स लेंस इज कन्वर्जिंग लेंस एंड कंकेव लेंस इज डाइवर्जिंग लेंस विद दैट वी हैव कंप्लीटेड हियर द टॉपिक लेंस टाइप्स ऑफ द लेंस सम इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू द लेंस Convex lens is also named as converging lens. Why? Convex lens, concave lens is also named as diverging lens. Why? So, this is the reason why we have explained here. Inshallah, by tomorrow, we will go through the sign conventions of the lens, image formation on concave and convex lens. Till then, goodbye. Have a blessing day ahead. Thank you.